A family pushing for change after their 11-year-old boy was killed while subway surfing. NYPD data shows that subway surfing incidents are up citywide so far this year compared to last. Vega admits he also made subway surfing videos, which he believes may have influenced 11-year-old Caden. Have y'all noticed within the past few years that social media trends have become more centered around just being as chaotic or as deadly as possible? Like, really think about it. Look at a lot of the social media trends that have happened within the past few years. There was that one trend where People were just literally going and vandalizing schools. What was it called? Uh, I think it was called like the devious lick trend where people were like stealing like toilets, printers, computers, fire alarm systems, like literally anything you could think of that was in a school. People were probably stealing it for the devious lick trend. And that's not the only one. Recently, there was the galaxy gas trend where people are literally inhaling nitrous oxide. Like it literally destroys your brain cells and can be fatal. Like what is with all this crazy stuff? Why can't we just do something that's, you know, uh, not deadly, not fatal? fatal like can we just do something that's like somewhat normal now in today's video we're going to be talking about a newer trend that's popped up recently called subway surfing and no i'm not talking about the game i'm talking about literally subway surfing in real life like i'm talking people are literally going out there and climbing on trains <laughs> No, not oh yeah. Oh no. Like who in their right mind thinks that's a good idea to get on top of a train that could probably go into tunnels and also get up to like, you know, 60 miles an hour? Like that's the speed of an average car on the highway. Like I'm sorry, no amount of ad revenue or social media clicks is worth that shit. We hop on the 7 train. I was like, this is the seven. This is a train line that I've never surfed before. So I'm gonna take the chance to surf it right now. There's this little metal beam lined up at, at, at the entrance of the stop. That, that was like in perfect correlation with my head. Bruh, so this guy literally went subway surfing and got hit. And now he is like permanently damaged. Like his head is permanently messed up. And look, I'm not trying to crack jokes or like try and make fun of this dude, but he probably has like permanent brain damage now or some sort of now like cognitive, you know, disability or something. And like for what though? Like what was like, what was the motivator and what did you think was going to happen? Like, okay, let's say he hypothetically successfully surfed the train with like no injuries, no nothing. What do you get out of it? What, a little bit of adrenaline? Maybe like one week of TikTok fame after like a video went viral. Like there really isn't much to gain from this anyways. And even if there was, is it really worth your life? Or is it worth potentially becoming permanently cognitively impaired? Like I just don't see the trade off here. Like yo Terrell, look at this shit, it's crazy. I hope you ain't doing no dumb shit like this. He was like, nah, hell no. I don't do no stupid shit like that. And come to find out, like he might've even been in that video. No surfing or riding outside of trains under any circumstances. Social media is not worth your life. Ride inside, stay alive. I'm sorry, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. These dudes are so corny, bro. Like, this is so lame. Like, look at these dudes standing there with their arms crossed and shit just like yeah look at us we're cool you know we jump on moving trains and like you know enable other people to do the same thing on social media resulting in you know people getting killed and stuff you know ha huh, so cool so lit bruh so fire like when i see people going out and doing this stuff i blame these guys the guys that try to make it cool that try to make it a trend it's like when you make something like this a trend people are gonna start doing it and they're gonna start following because a lot of the time they want popularity they want clout they want views they want clicks and you know there are people out there that are going to participate and, you know, ridiculously stupid and dangerous trends like this for, you know, five seconds of fame. It's crazy, but sadly, it's true. And people like this trying to make it cool, trying to make it the, you know, new popular thing to do, these guys are to blame. Can we get these guys and get out of here? Let's go. Growing up younger, I didn't really get treated with any respect or, like, love. Okay, so rather than taking that negative energy and trying to turn it into fuel and try and channel that into something productive and actually make something of yourself, instead you're just gonna go hop on a trend and like, you know, jump on like subways and try and be like a subway surfer. Like that makes no sense. And I know some people in the comments are gonna be like, rinse, it's harder than it sounds. And I get that, but we can't deny here that there is just better ways to go about this. There's better ways to cope and, you know, jumping on trains that are going like 60 miles an hour. There are better ways to go about this. How are you? Right now. Okay. I was talking to a couple on the way here. They said a kid died on the F train today. That did just happen literally this morning. 10 15 this morning. 
some kid cut class, went on the F train, your fourth out of night, there's a bridge. And when someone's inexperienced and they don't think about that shit, they'll do it, they don't think about that. And as a result, they can't get down time. He probably hit the bridge and fell under and that was it for him. How risky would you rate this behavior? I would say it's very risky nowadays, especially with the abundance of social media and everyone, I mean, everyone doing it. Back when I was doing this stuff, it was not that bad. To all the viewers back home, I would say this. No amount of likes or views or follows is ever worth you risking your life. Well, sadly, common sense isn't that common, and I don't think many people are going to listen to that. Should we start moving? I think we should. No surfing or riding outside of trains under any circumstances. Ride inside, stay alive. You'll see that like every five to ten minutes. You'll see it in the stations, you'll hear it on the trains. On a line like this, they play it so often, you can't go one commute without hearing it. This campaign where they're playing all the announcements, it's literally fueling the fire in my opinion. The mayor thinks he's doing a good job spreading awareness about it, but in reality, kids will see that, they'll look up subway surfing on Instagram, and they'll literally just hop on top of the train because they see people are discouraging it. But at the same time, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, they're all encouraging it. They'll just get on top, think it's cool, maybe not think of the consequences, and one wrong move and it's it for them. Okay, listen, y'all are going to have to hear me out on this one, and I know this is going to sound crazy, but just trust me on this one. Rather than having a bunch of anti-subway surfing messaging put around the train stations and on the trains, how about just put spikes on top of the train? And hear me out, hear me out, hear me out, okay? Do you really think people are still going to be jumping on trains when the roofs are just covered with sharp spikes? I mean, really think about it. Me personally, I think that would solve the issue, or like greatly decrease the amount of people jumping on top of trains. Because think about it who's really gonna stand up there on the train when there's spikes poking into their feet nobody's gonna do that because here's the thing right when you put a bunch of anti-subway surfing messaging people are only gonna want to do it more for the trend and for the clicks you know uh, there's more outrage around it so people are gonna try and get clout more and let's be real here a lot of these people doing this trend you know they're after the clout or they're just mentally unwell so i don't really think there's much talking them at a subway surfing anyways so you may as well just go ahead and add a physical barrier to stop them because i mean like i said earlier what are they gonna do are they just gonna stand on the roof full of like sharp spikes like me personally, I think it will work. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments down below. And let me know what you guys think about this whole situation. Me personally, I feel like as time goes on, social media trends are only going to get more extreme. And this is just a perfect example of that. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. And if you guys did enjoy the video, be sure to like and subscribe for the algorithm. We're almost at 3k subs, so every sub is appreciated. Also, be sure to check out the Discord server. I've been doing a lot of changes on there recently and updating it and adding more channels and stuff. And overall, just making the server better for the community. So if any of that sounds of interest to you, then be sure to check out the Discord server link in description. And yeah, guys, as always, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.